Well, it's the early afternoon of August 22nd. Shannon and I are packed up and ready to go. Ready to go. Uh, it'll be about a, oh, I don't know, six, seven hour hike into our spike camp location. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. This is one of the nicest days we've had in the last nine. We, uh, we had a lot of rain on the previous hunt. So we are due and looking forward to some beautiful weather like this. So And a good sheet. And a good sheep. And a good sheep. Let's have some fun. All right. Okay, so we stop, take a break. Have this Swarovski scope, it's got a turret on it. So when my boy and me was setting the turret, um, it's got a screw on the top of it that if it comes unscrewed, the turret will come off of it. So when I laid the gun down just then, I just happened to notice and look and the turret had come off and was just spread out on the ground here. If it had happened three foot, three foot back, I'd have never found it and I'd only be able to shoot 200 yards. So luckily my boy made us a card that had all the yardage on it from 200 to 600 yards. So all we had to do is slide the turret back on and set the numbers correctly. But if he hadn't have done this, we'd have been screwed. So yeah. Thanks, Colton. Yeah, thank you, so, Colton. <laughs> Good thinking. Yeah. So we got it all back together, got tape on it, got it really screwed down tight, so hopefully we'll be good now. Yeah, I think we will. Yeah. Shannon and I turned the corner, and this is the initial part of the valley we'll be hunting. It bends around up at the head of it to the left and right, so there's quite a bit we can't see. And we're about two thirds of the way to our spike camp location. So are we going, or can we see where we're going to be camping from here? Or is Ye it on? Yeah, no, we can. We can, okay. See where that real pointy mountain is? Yes, sir. On the left? Yep. So if you follow the ridge line sort of down and towards us, okay. where that meets the valley floor is about where we're camping. Okay. So that's not a mile and a half? Yeah, no. Further than that? Yeah, further than that. Okay. Two, two, solid two miles. Okay. Feeling good, been enjoying each other's company, yeah. plenty of good conversation. Yeah. So it's that prominent little peak in the foreground down at the bottom of it. That fork, that fork up there, the, yeah. the tallest peak. That you can see that's not in the clouds. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Not the not the, the one with the grassy top. Not the one with the grassy okay, top. Okay. The, the real pointed one. Correct. The base of it. Yeah. Sort of down at an angle towards yeah. us. Yeah. Where it meets the valley floor. Okay. All right. Yep. We're going to grab a little snack here and press onward. about five or six hundred yards from our spike camp location. But we've had a lot of rain the last two weeks so the creeks are quite high. This is where a grizzly killed a caribou I would guess probably three weeks ago. It's all tore up and buried. Yeah, yeah. Nothing but bones left. Yeah. And we're sleeping about 300 yards that direction? Oh, 500. Okay, that makes me a lot better. <laughs> it's a little after 10 p.m. After a enjoyable, good, solid eight hour hike. We're at our spike camp location, just finishing setting up our tents. 
and then we'll have a nice hot meal and a well-deserved rest. Okay. Good hike today, Shannon. Yeah, good hike. It was a good hike. And the weather was great. Yeah. Getting a little cloudy now as we look up the valley, but that's not uncommon in the evenings, particularly with the weather system we've been having. And we will wait and see what uh, tomorrow holds for us. All depends on the weather. It's the morning of August 23rd. Shannon and I had a pretty good sleep, a bit restless, we both agreed, and we've been talking between our tents. Not in a real rush to get out this morning. The clouds are quite low and thick. And the one thing that seriously inhibits smart sheep hunting is trying to hunt in the clouds because you just can't. You can't see where you're going, but more importantly, can't see what's above you and where the sheep are. So <clears throat> we're just gonna enjoy some coffee and breakfast and hope that uh, as the temperatures increase this morning, the clouds lift but it's pretty socked in at the moment. Hunt smart and then hunt hard. It's the morning of August 24th. Today's the day. Good. Doing the bones. This is what yesterday could have been all day because of rain. Today the sun coming out and it just feels right. It just feels right. These microphones aren't great, so you may not have picked that up from Shannon. The weather has improved. We've seen a little bit of sunshine and some patches of blue sky. So we're gonna head up the valley and see what the day holds for us. We're about 45 minutes outside of camp. Stop to uh, put a little moleskin on. And here's a sort of a view of, I don't know what you, it's not really the head of the, this valley, but a, a branch where three big valleys branch off. One to the right, one to the middle, and then to the left. Well, the weather we've got, Shannon and I discussed it, and we're gonna head up on top, up over this way. Haven't been able to hunt that this year due to the bad weather we've had. But today I think is gonna allow us to get up there and hopefully hunt this there's a series of about three main ridges and lots of side spur ridges. So we're gonna get up there and see what we can see. Sure nice to see some blue sky. We haven't had a lot of sun on us, but uh, any day that we don't have precipitation and we do have visibility is a good day. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Blue sky showing up over there so hopefully it's headed this way. Yeah, let's hope. <laughs> we are just about up to the ridge line. Told me this is the worst one. We're gonna climb in something tells me he's lying to me. <laughs> I don't think it is. Big country. We've just popped up onto the beginning of the ridge line that we're working and caught a quick glimpse of a bull caribou which we might see again and then off on the skyline there I spotted three rams
three rams on the back wall. This is filming through the spotting scope. The one on the upper left is younger, smaller. These are the two older rams. Quite a ways away and with the wind and the heat waves it's hard to get a real good look through the spotting scope. Is that sun coming out like that? It's good. Got a what rain on us about an hour? Yeah, about an hour. Yeah, but it passed fortunately. What's that? I said it passed yeah. fortunately. And we're just enjoying the sunshine and one hell of a view. This is just a portion of what we can see from up here. Those rams are popped back up, back in view. They fed a little bit closer. They're on that ridge line. Take a look through the spotting scope. There are the three, the two bigger ones are the lower ones there in the center of the screen. A little difficult to film through the spotting scope. A little shaky, look, gives you an idea. They definitely have some potential. I'd like to take a closer look. It's been an enjoyable for the most part <clears throat> after, late afternoon and evening up here on the ridge. Good day. Good day. It was. Weather wasn't too bad. Yeah. Got three sheep that we kind of got our minds maybe going looking at maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Get a little closer to look at them. So. Yeah. No, as long as the weather holds out. Yeah. Weather's everything. But uh, two of those rams I'd like, we both would like a closer look at to uh determine their size and quality, maturity. So we'll uh, see what weather is going to do, but hopefully it holds like it did today. We're going to uh, actually cut the distance to camp by going down this drainage here. And uh, then we'll take a right and be in camp a couple hours. But I'll tell you what, Shannon, if we could get every day weather-wise like this, not perfect, but good enough. Yeah, help a lot, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would help a lot. Yeah. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. PMA, yeah. positive mental That's attitude. Right. August 25th. 
Well, the morning it was kind of gray, a little drizzly. Low clouds up the valley. Well, we've got a sort of a dark, ominous cloud there to the south. Gonna watch and see what it does, but hopefully we'll head up the valley and up the creek and see if we can perhaps get a better look at those three rams. Sounds good. It's up there in the clouds that we saw those rams yesterday afternoon and evening. This cloud line is obscuring where they were. And I do suspect they're somewhere around there, but it's a little tough to determine when you can't see through the clouds. So we're just gonna hang out here a little bit in the valley floor, see what uh, the clouds decide to do. Weather determines just about all of our movements up here in Alaska. Very cool. What's that? All I can say, it's very cool. Yeah. Very cool. It is. And over there you can see the clouds are just touching the peaks and ridge lines. But as Murphy would have it, where we want to look the clouds are lower. Just found this land on the ground. I think Henry said it was about 10. Yeah, nice 10, 11 year old ram, winter kill. Probably uh, two or three years old. Nice, heavy, real nice, heavy ram. You call that burn, right? Yeah, yep. Put it back yep. Nature's an incredible thing. Just almost a perfectly cubed rock. This is laying here along the creek. Pretty neat. He's got me climbing. Is it shale rock? Is that what you yeah, call it? Yeah, shale. I think we're just going to slide back down and not worry about walking. <laughs> Took us about five hours. We climbed uh, gradually to about 4,800 feet. We're within a four or 500 yards of where we saw the rams at two different occasions last night. But as rams do, they mill about and they certainly aren't within view of us right now. No. It's pretty well rained on us all day. Pretty much. So, a good good hike though, good climb. And, uh, you know, as Shannon and I agreed, they're probably within a, a mile or less of us right now, but it's as you- got over the ridge, couldn't they? Yeah, I mean, as you can see, we're at the head of this drainage. And there's, aside from clouds, all kinds of other ridges and drainages they can go into from here. That's looking somewhat southward. And as we pan around to the north and east, It's up this drainage creek that we traveled. It's the morning of August 27th. Yesterday was a, a tent day due to low clouds, low visibility, rain. But today it's higher skies, higher ceilings. Be much better visibility. So we're going to head 
back up our valley here. See if we can relocate those three rams or any others that have decided to show themselves. Much better day than yesterday. Today's the day. I can feel it. I like the attitude. PMA. That's right. Positive mental attitude. So off we go. We stopped here at the confluence of these three big drainages. And so far we've spotted five or six using lambs. Beautiful day, quite a difference from yesterday. But as has often been said, if you don't like the weather in Alaska, just wait a minute. I think it's literally more like 30 seconds. <laughs> I wouldn't argue with that. So we're probably going to hit up this middle valley here, and bear, which bears to the left. Poke around up there today. So that'll be one ridge over from where we was at yesterday. One big ridge. One yep. big ridge. Okay. Correct. It's about 1.15 p.m. <clears throat> Before we committed to going up the middle valley, we stopped again to keep looking. And lo and behold, we found those three rams. Again. They're in a, a very advantageous spot for them, not so much for us. And I know Henry, he's got a game plan. His wheels are turning right now. His wheels are turning. There they are in the center of the screen, bedded, facing away from us at the moment. So we're going to venture up this left fork again. And see what the afternoon holds. The prob problem is you've got a flatlander from Arkansas <laughs> that you've got to get up on that mountain somehow or another. Oh, you're doing great. You should be proud of yourself. Yeah, we're just going to have to poke our way up there closer and then just sort of see what they do. I mean, where they are right now, they have all the advantage. And then you still got to figure out whether or not yeah. they're legal. Yeah, get a good close look at them. So but you gotta, what kind of distance you got to get for you to be able to do that? Depends on the on the conditions. You know, if I don't have like a lot of heat waves, I got good light and stuff. Oh, you know, a thousand yards. Okay. We're probably at 2,000 right now. Oh, we're a mile and a half or two from them. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're well more than that. Okay. Well, let's go see. We've moved uh, three quarters of a mile or so closer. But there's a big section here where we're totally exposed. for another half mile or so. And if that one drops down where the other two's at, it would give us opportunity to get closer to it. Yes, yeah. You can only see one at the moment, but if it drops down behind a ridge out of our sight, then we can hustle ahead. But this is our last willow bush of cover for a while. It's a little before 3 p.m. We've managed to work our way closer undetected. But one of the rams has just bedded right on the ridge. As is their MO often. So we can't get any closer without him spotting us and alerting his buddies. 
So we're just going to have to sit here patiently and wait for them to finish chewing their cud and hopefully leave the ridge and begin feeding again. But that could take a couple hours. This is filming through the spotting scope, but there he is. Beautiful sight. Some heat waves. What? Holy shit. You got him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Sorry folks, I couldn't video oh my god. the actual shots because I had to spot them. It took a few to Get Shannon dialed in, but that last shot did it. <laughs> and you got a, a scope award for it, buddy. Oh my God. You I did it. Believe this. Shannon, you did it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Two years, four years to Alaska, finally happened. Oh my gosh, 550, 560 yards. 560 yards. That was a long poke. I never shot over 500 yards. So. I don't normally let people, but honestly, I believed in you. I, I figured oh, you could you do God. it. Oh my gosh. It's unbelievable. Good for you. Not bad for a boy from Arkansas. Oh, and where we're at, we're freaking on top of a mountain. It, I don't know how high we are right now to you. We'll find out. Oh my gosh. How are we going to get this thing? Well, we got a couple days and it's good because we're going to need them. Oh my gosh. I am on cloud nine, literally. I killed a 200 inch buck in Illinois when I was like 45 and I think I could ever top that. This just did it. It's okay to be emotional. That shows respect for the animal. Shannon Linderman. Approaching at long last his hard earned trophy doll sheep. Last few steps here. I got my mind on that sheep, not what I'm doing. Wow. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, Amy. He? he is. Absolutely beautiful. Over full curl, nine and a half years old. Afraid to move him, I'm afraid he'll slide down the mountain. Well, if he does, just get out of the way. You can, though. Oh yeah, he's he's beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Said a while ago, couldn't get no better than this. I'm not got any better than this, my boys was with me. Yeah. But don't get to watch this. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. Henry Tiffany. Recommend hundred percent. Trusted him up these mountains. I wouldn't have trusted anybody else, but I just felt comfortable with him. Not get me in trouble. He didn't or hadn't yet. But, man, what a privilege. What a privilege. Good, beautiful ram. 
What did you say? He said he was nine and a half year old? Yep. <clears throat> He's nine, working on his 10th year, yep. but nine years old. Absolutely beautiful. And what a rugged place he died in. What a rugged place he was living in. No kidding. There was three of them. He was the, he was the largest. We weren't for sure what the other ones were. We know one of them wasn't legal, that we're not sure about the second, the right. other one, but this, he was definitely the biggest one. Yeah, I focused, you know, I could quickly tell he was the, the biggest, so I focused on him. Beautiful old ram. Yeah, grateful for a lot of people put up with me for two years to get ready for this hunt. Shop, I mean, I pulled away from there some to get ready, and wife, and the boys, yeah. It's a team effort took a lot of in people, many ways. Yeah, it took a lot of people to get to make this happen. It wasn't just me pulling the trigger, that's for sure. But you did a good job of that too. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, that's further, that's 550 yards, that's the furthest I've ever shot. Practice some at 500, but. There was just no way I can pan over. There's the ridge from which we shot. And as you can see, there is nothing between us and there, but empty space, so yeah. I prefer to get as close as I can, but sometimes you just, you don't have an option, and Shannon did a good job. It's, just, it's amazing, it's an amazing animal, how it can live up here in this rugged oh. environment for 10 years, yeah. you know, it's walking tough. up and down these mountains like this and not slipping and fall, because when we shot him, I mean, he, he took a tumble, yep. and you know, he could have done that just as easy, just made a wrong step. Yep. Here he is. Magnificent old ram. Oh yeah, awesome. Beautiful. Great, great, great. Man. We've taken couldn't, some nice photos and... Couldn't be happier. Maybe if it quit raining. That'd be nice. A little, little bit happier, but... But the MO for this particular year, 2022, August has been rain, 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 clouds, 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 and rain. Yep, not gonna complain though. No. All at once. Great experience. Unbelievable, unbelievable experience, unbelievable place, unbelievable outfitter. Oh, thank you. You've yeah. done a great job. You have kept up with me step for step. No complaining, you've been patient when you needed to be. Yeah, we're the same age. And we're the same age. Yeah, yeah, with six months difference in our- Yeah, six months something like that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. uh, so you, you should be very proud of yourself. Thank you. I, yeah, very proud. I am. I am. I am very proud. Okay. Well, folks, it's, uh, what time is it? 8.30. 8.30 p.m. And we got uh, some work ahead of us and a lot of miles. We probably won't be able to take all of it back to spike camp tonight so we'll take some and then we'll come back here tomorrow with lighter packs and uh, retrieve the rest of him okay sounds good okay sounds buddy good well done thank you appreciate it okay it's 10 30 we just got done doing what we could do tonight so we actually took the front quarters off of it caped it uh went and took the guts out of it where it cooled down so we're going to make a trip tonight and take the quarters out and then try to get a couple hours sleep and then get back here and here sometime in the morning to get the rest of it and hopefully we can get it in one load yeah so. I think we can we've got we're each carrying a front shoulder and side of neck meat and we put the cape and horns right up there and Shannon buried it in rocks We're about ready to check out Henry's night vision. <laughs> say he's got good night vision, so we're going to see. And here's the hindquarters and ribs, brisket, backstrap, and tenderloins. Covered them, the guts. And we're headed down this drainage. Can't see it very well, but over that way, and then we'll take a right. And an hour from there, we'll be in camp. Would you say about 1.30 probably? I think so. Probably about 1.30. Yeah. Sunday, August 28th, about uh, a little after 2 p.m. We got a little sleep last night. 
tough when you go to bed at about 4 a.m. Yeah, okay. So we're headed back up to retrieve the rest of Shannon's ram. As you can see, he's prepared for the rain that does look oh, like it's shoulder. coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't be Alaska if it wasn't raining, right? Yeah. At least on this trip, every on, day. Every, every day, day we've had some rain. It's been horrible. <laughs> but that's Alaska yeah. sometimes. It took us three hours and 45 minutes to climb back up here. And of course it's starting to rain. Again. Again. It rained hard on us for a while. Two, three hours, and we'll be out of here, and just won't do it. It won't let. It just won't give it to us, will it? No. It's gonna fight us all the way on this one. Yeah, that's what I expect. So if if it doesn't rain, then I'm just pleasantly surprised. Yeah. But uh, Shannon's sheep carcass was untouched by anything. It's in great shape. His horns are up there, ten yards above him, in the rocks. So we're gonna eat our lunch. Finish butchering it, packing it in our packs, and off we'll go. Took us four hours to get back last night, and I suspect it'll take four and a half, yeah, maybe. We'll loaded heavier. Yeah, a little heavier. So yeah. it'll take whatever it takes. We'll get yeah. there. Yeah. You said tomorrow's going to be a more relaxed day. Yeah, tomorrow's a. I'll work on the cape. We'll make a big fire, roast the ribs and brisket. And uh, have so, just a much deserved rest. So tomorrow would be day six or day seven? I don't know, it's the 29th. Okay, okay. That's all I know. Yeah. 7.45 p.m. We have the ram loaded. Looking great. Some weight there. There's, There's some, weight, some there. weight there. First part will be just slow and sure. But yep. it's all downhill. It is all downhill. <laughs> Way to look at it. It's not too fast downhill. Yeah. So we'll be traversing to the right here across this shale. And then down to the creek bottom. And basically just follow the creek off into the distance where it hits the all those cliffs. And then we take a right. About an hour from there, we're in spike camp. But I suspect it'll take us four, four to four and a half hours, probably. That's what we call the sheep shale shuffle. Actually, I just made that up, but I like it. <laughs> we losing that rain jacket for long. Yeah, yeah, we're warming up. We were getting cold up higher. We're getting there. August 29th, about 9 p.m. I finished uh, preparing Shannon's sheep cape. It's in the creek soaking. And a successful sheep hunter's tradition underway. Yep. Roasting. Good after eating that much. Yeah, you can't really hear Shannon, but he said, it's gonna taste awfully good after eating Mountain House for a week. But the briskets, ribs, tenderloins, it doesn't get any better. Well, it's about quarter of 11 on the evening of the 29th. Which is what day? I have no week. idea. Monday. If you say so. Yeah. Well, how'd you enjoy dinner? Good. Best I've had in a week, <laughs> two, probably two weeks for sure. 
No, it was really good. It had lamb or had uh, ram ribs and tenderloin and brisket. Yeah, it, it was, was really good. Wonderful. Both got a <laughs> got both a probably over eight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really good. Just enjoying a few minutes of the fire before we turn in for the night. And it didn't rain on us today. Nope. Good day. Great day. It's rained a lot, but it seems like the days that we really don't need it to rain, it's kind of backed away from us. So maybe we can get one or two more good days and we'll be at, back to camp. Yep. Let's hope. <laughs> yeah. Early afternoon of August 30th, Shannon and I have his ram and our camp all packed up, loaded, and ready to begin the trek home. It's about six miles or so, but we're going to break it into two days since we can. We have that luxury. So we'll go three or so miles today and then the remainder tomorrow. Sounds good. How much we just pack on? Oh, you, we'll get it on. I promise, one way or the other. It's about 7.30 p.m. After a heavy five hour hike, <laughs> Shannon did a great job. We both have heavy packs. Mine was heavier. I don't care what Henry said, mine was heavier. We'll prove it when we get back to camp. <laughs> They're both heavy. But uh, we made it to about the halfway point, found a reasonable campsite near water with a yeah, with an with a incredible view. Of course, we did enjoy some rain. I mean, that's just par for the course. But we do have one heck of a, a view of our main valley. So we're going to have dinner, get a well-deserved rest, and then continue onwards in that direction for about four hours to base camp tomorrow. Couldn't help myself on a beautiful evening not to look around before I heat up some water for dinner and spotted a bull moose. There's a fair bit of distance between us, but he's over there in the meadow. I've got the spotting scope on it, so I'll take a look through the spotting scope. There's the bull through the spotting scope. A little tough to line it all up. Not a legal bull or a trophy bull, but it's still fun to see and oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Not yeah, super small, is he? No, he's probably you know forty, maybe forty-five inches. Got his head buried down. Well, you may not have seen a bull moose on your moose hump, but now you've seen yep. one in Alaska. Yep. He got up then. He was down on his knees. Yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah. August 31st. Our final day. Day of reckoning. We're headed <laughs> out today. What? You told me three, now you're kind of changing your story to four, maybe five time we get there. I feel like 10 when we get there, but it's the last day, so surely, we, what we got, 
probably got 50 to 60 miles under our belt. Yep. So three to four more don't sound too bad, does it? Nope, nope. And it, it'll be e much easier walking. And Good, uh, yesterday about killed me. I'm <laughs> but, telling you, when we started out yesterday with a heavy pack and going through that creek right off the bat and side hilling along that river or drainage, whatever it is, it was. I was like, get a helicopter in here. I can't make it. But you did. But I did. Yeah. Yep. So, so it it's going to be an easier day. As Shannon said, it's technically 3.31 miles from here to base camp, but it'll be about four the way we have to walk. So figure about four hours we'll be there. Yep. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it'll be nice. Yep. And rained a little bit earlier this morning, but uh, hopefully that'll hold off yep. for the, our final hike. Yeah. Sounds good. Get me on that one. Feeling the burn. Feel the burn. Couple more stops and we'll be in base camp. All right. Music's my ears. Um, well, let's see, it's uh, September. <laughs> That's the same thing you told me two weeks ago. You can't get nothing out of this pile. Yeah. So I'd expect some rain. <laughs> well, we haven't had any. Probably a little bit of snow. You know, it's been the driest August I've ever experienced. Arid, I would say. Arid. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we are in a semi-arid desert. Yes. Receiving yes, less than 11 inches of rainfall a year. Arctic, which yes, we've received desert, 10 and yes. a half That's this right. month. Yep. This Yesterday. Month? Oh, I have never Yesterday. seen this river oh. so full as I saw it. What was that, about a week ago? Yeah. I mean, it was, it was, it was raining. Oh. So technically, yes, Brady. Right. We are in a semi-arid desert because it receives less than 11 inches of rainfall a year. Now, by the end of your hunt, you're going to be like, that's a, that's a crock of shit. Because that's how I feel every year. But it is, you know, that's the thing, though. Like, most of the precipitation here comes in August and September. Yeah. If you want good weather, don't go fucking hunting in Alaska. Not <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing you can do is go to the Fox <laughs> Range in August. <laughs> See hey, man. hey, absolute pleasure, Shannon. We're waiting. All right. Stage, uh, <laughs> Stage, yeah. movie or something. Oh, wow. Thank you. Congratulations. Shannon. Hey, I enjoyed it a lot. Congratulations, Thank you. We'll yeah, see you again. Yeah, yeah. We'll be in touch. All right. We'll be in touch. Guys. Okay. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, Shannon, yeah, you're going to go you. around the front. Oh, that's right. Carefully okay. climb across. All right. Have fun. Oh. Thank you, sir. Stay. Thank you. Dry. Right. <laughs> Dry-ish. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, take care. Thank you. All right. Brad and Shannon about to take off from Alaskan Perimeter Expeditions. Arctic National Wildlife Refuge Camp after a very safe, successful, and enjoyable adventure together. And they're off. Take care, my friends. I look forward to being in the field with you both again soon.